Today on Silver Hunt Sunday, I want to show you a silver round I picked up and some old Canadian Newfoundland half dollars. And I want to talk about why these were important additions to my stack. Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here. Thank you again for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And uh, let's get right to it here today, everybody. So, so the first piece I want to show you, a Seated Liberty Silver Round. Now this one, I don't know much about the actual design because there's no date on it. Um, I did try to do some research and find out, but I couldn't uh, couldn't find anything in particular about it. Um, but there's the it's a beautiful piece, and uh, not really going to hold really any premium from my understanding, unless because it doesn't have the date. There's a reason for that. Um, all the ones that I saw had a date of the, uh, in the late 1800s in there. Um, but that's uh, so if you have any information about that let me know it'd be great to get some dialogue going and talk about that but just a nice piece to add some weight to my stack and for this particular piece it's a bit of fun when I'm adding weight so instead of just picking up a sunshine mint round or a Canadian maple or a silver eagle uh, anything like that there you go there's some detail on the coin there on the round there just get a little bit closer up for you so you can see that I always flip it the wrong way. There we go. So nice piece. Again, weight to the stack, but while having fun while I'm doing it. And to speak to that side of it, basically how I look at it is every week, if you can buy at least an ounce of silver and put that aside for your future, that's a great way to build your, up your investments. And you, it's really a fairly easy way to do it. You know, if you just save yourself a couple coffees and maybe a couple beers or something, and uh, all of a sudden you'll be able to Put money aside for at least one of these a week um, and that's nice to be able to do so i'm fortunate that way and but i wanted to have some variety while i'm doing it right now this the next pieces that i added i'll just show you this was kind of the extra i have i'm pretty sure i have this year oh, come on let's get the focus going there camera there we go so 1946 canadian half um, now canadian halves are 80 percent silver Still great to add. I mean, I love having these and the detail and the design in them is awesome. Uh, pretty much always the same couple designs unless you get to the Newfoundland ones. And that's what I have here. So I don't really need my glove for these. Uh, that's a great part about the coins and that because you can touch them. So I've got uh, Newfoundland. I have these years already. I know that for sure because I'm trying to fill these up. But I guess these are probably just a little easier to come by. Uh, but Newfoundland, half dollars, a little bit different, something a little bit fun. 1907 17 and 18 and then they're pretty worn usually when I find these they're pretty worn down And then where they flip the ears you can see there's looking different looking in a different direction And then the 1918 Spinning around There you go A little bit less wear on that you're you're newer. So I guess that makes sense. So those were nice pieces to add in there. Nothing uh, super exciting, but fun. And the idea with this is that having a coin that is made of silver is going to be more recognizable if there was ever a shit hits the fan situation, an SHTF. And therefore I like to collect uh, this one. I can get them at a great price. Now the Newfoundland ones hold a little bit more of a premium. Uh, fortunately I didn't have to pay that. So some people will pay a little bit more. So maybe I can flip these down the road. I'll buy back maybe more of these. Um, and then I, I'm paying off my premiums that I've paid for these by flipping them and making a couple extra bucks. Uh, and it depends, you know, it depends on how things go. Uh, I have these years already. So once I've completed those years, I don't mind selling off extras that I get. So that's fun to do. And that's pretty much it that got added this week. I didn't uh, have a whole lot of opportunity to do as much hunting as I would have liked, but this was still a lot of fun and I thought great stuff to share. I have some really exciting videos planned upcoming for the next few weeks. And I want to have some fun with some eating some MREs while I show off some silver too, some camping meals and, and ways to... Uh, do food storage and long-term storage in case there's ever the SHTF situation where these may end up becoming uh, important. Thing is, if you can't survive through that first, you know, little while of the situation, you're not even going to have a chance to use this stuff. So, how do you survive, right? Lots of great videos about that out there with other people, but I do love to touch on it because it is something related to what we do. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this, everybody. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. 
and uh, I really appreciate you doing that. It helps get the videos out there, and uh, we will talk to everybody soon. Take care. Canadian Silver Saver.